2851, turn right, heading 180. Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established. Supersonic travel within the aviation industry was a thing of the past, believe it or not, and also potentially ahead of its time. However, their return of them in the skies have been dealt a major blow following the closure of Arion, who recently frequently appeared within the aviation industry of late, but they've now shut down. The company had an ambitious plan to bring back supersonic travel with a brand new business jet known as the AS-2 supersonic plane. However, now according to multiple firm reports and of course comments made from the company, those plans have been shelved as I'll get into. What is the Arion supersonic aircraft though and what would it actually offer? Designed recently as the AS-2, it would be as the name suggests an aircraft capable of flying at supersonic speeds and this particular aircraft would seat up to 50 passengers. Speeds would exceed Mach 4 and the overall design evolved through the years with a redesigned concept that dated a decade back. This means that it has not been a very, very quick process. In fact, it's been now some 16 years in the making to get to the conclusion where they will be shutting. Over the past 16 years, they have continued to look at the best possible option for them with regards to concepts and continue to also go back to the drawing board, incorporating new styles and technology to make the best possible and most logistical permitting approval aircraft possible. The company released a statement saying the AS-2 supersonic business jet program meets all market technical, regulatory and sustainability requirements and the market for a new supersonic segment of general aviation has been validated with, with $11.2 in sales backlog for the AS. Adding, however, in the current financial environment, it has proven hugely challenging to close on the scheduled and necessary large new capital requirements to finalize the transition of the AS-2 into production. For the AS-2, if you are unaware, it was valued at some US $120 million per jet, with the type costing some US $4 billion overall to develop. Plans were in place to have the very first AS-2 fly by 2024, some three years away. This is ambitious in my opinion to say the least, However, the aircraft would also run on sustainable aviation fuel and, in addition, would use boomless cruise technology. For many, the perception was Arion had the financial backing that could have seen them have longevity within the industry, but seemingly that is not the case. And if anything, it has continued to prove that the ongoing situation with supersonic travel means it's more of a pipe dream at this stage than something that is seemingly feasible and could be rolled out in the coming years. We see Boom Supersonic who have continued to work on their own supersonic avenue and on that front, there's still nothing firm and we've still not seen an aircraft actually take to the skies properly. Only a couple of months ago as well, Arion came back into the news with their AS-3, which was announced a supersonic jet that was capable of flying 500 passengers with a total range of some 7,000 miles. When they unveiled this type, they said that it signalled how the future would be. Ultimately, though, a couple months later, they would shut down. If you have any thoughts on the situation with Arion, and especially with a focus on supersonic travel and the future of it, if it's going to be feasible at all, let me know down in the comments section below. But like always, thank you so much for your continued support and I look forward to you all joining me in the next video.